Greetings, and welcome to Let's Play Metroid Fusion! The oft-neglected fourth entry in the Metroid series. Why are we here? We are here to do a 1% challenge run of this game. A very challenging endeavor indeed, but one that I shall meet with all my skills. Let us begin a new file. SR388 being the planet home to the Metroids, visited by Samus Aran in Metroid 2. It seems a little like the overkill, Samus, but hey, what do I know, right? And then, evil wine gums attack! was there. She was attacked by a life form she had never encountered before. Well, maybe they don't sell wine gums in her leg of the universe. Some very creative naming schema there. Thank you, science. Well, that's happened to the best of us, Samus. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, you seem to have some goo on your face there. You might want to... Yeah. And then an unfortunate incident we've seen only moments before. We'll be captured by aliens, but of course not. These are medical staff. Oh no, it seems the goo is multiplying. <laughs> And get yourself cleaned up there, darling. Corruption! Better cut the suit off with laser beams! This seems like a design flaw to me. Perhaps the Chozo aren't as clever as we give them credit. No, I don't think you broke the suit for nothing. Seems that way. And someone brought their glowing green goo to work. Not Metroids, surely no. They weren't in the title of the game at all. How would they know how to do this? Or that they should do this? Questions about... Why would you hang about? There's the evil yellow wine gums. They must be completely and utterly destroyed. Apparently by a laser targeting system, but hey, we've experimented with lasers in surgery already. Who the hell are you and what are you- oh wait. And so this is Samus Aran as she now appears. Her suit drastically reduced in bulkosity and covered in a strange blue membrane. One can only assume that this is Metroid goo. We'll soon be arriving at the PSL research station. I must prepare for docking. That seems like a flawed plan to me. I can't pinpoint why. Well, unexplained explosions are always the worst kind. Again, it seems like a flawed plan, but okay. There's always a catch, isn't there? But we're going to interrupt that thought and continue with the game. 
Samus' inner monologue isn't that important, after all. And for now, our game will in fact begin. There's some Mode 7. I thought we'd grown out of that, Nintendo. Nice ship, though. Creative design. Gotta give it credit for that. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the ex-parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. A blink from there. Is your objective clear? But of course, how can it be any clearer with that kind of accent? Now, go to the quarantine bay, there's a good lass. Hmm, it seems we are under the command of the Brigadier General. Why not? Let's call him... Let's call him Adam. I don't know why I thought of this name first. At the beginning of any Metroid game, we are woefully underpowered, and this one is no exception. We're also more underpowered than usual, as without the usual bulk of her suit, Samus is kinda weak and useless. She is more agile though, now able to grab ledges, hang from them, and shoot from them, I think. Possibly not from this one. But there are ones later you can. Anyway! I should explain the premise here. For those who are not familiar, a 1% run of a Metroid game is where you only collect one of the optional pickups in the game. This does not include the... I'm going the wrong fucking way here. It doesn't include that either, but that's not really relevant to my point. Let's just deal with this first, as it's part of our objective. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Most of the upgrades don't fall under this category, something like the, you know, the weapon and armor upgrades. You need them to beat the game anyway, and so you will still receive them. And they don't count towards that total, but the optional stuff, missiles and energy tanks and what not, they are the items in question. There are exactly a hundred of them in the game, so we'll be only collecting one. As you can imagine, this makes the game quite difficult. Good, really, because Metroid Fusion was always a- oh shit. It's a toad! An evil alien toad. Surely it will destroy us all, or it'll just turn into a lemon wine gum. This, though, could be the source of our erstwhile explosion. Perhaps we should investigate further. Something terrible has happened here. Something evil. Oh, hey, a narrow passageway. I wonder how we'll get through there. Surely some upgrade will lead to this. I can't imagine which one. Well, let's talk to Brigadier General Adam for a while and see if he can shed any light on this. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. For the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. Here is a giant picture of a wine gum in a sort of mutated form. It's creepy and gelatinous, isn't it? The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. And it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. No, it doesn't make any sense, but just put that fact aside. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. The station is home to many species, some violent ones. It seems like a pretty poor choice from science's point of view. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I am already detecting massive biosigns in this region. X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Now get going. I have released the lock on level zero hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. They're also grey. Each one is color coded. Alright, so now we have a basic objective. Go be an exterminator. 
Bit of a come down for poor old Samus, but then again, she's done this before. SR388 and full of Metroids and all that jazz. These are green doors. We ain't getting in there yet. Oh, goodness me, no. We're going in here. As always, doors will be shot. To oh, no, Toads! Yes, yeah, so the yellow X Parasites will restore 10 energy when you collect them. It is not a huge amount, but you will be consuming vast quantities of them. Let's save, shall we? Save completed. Just as a precaution, really. I mean, the game doesn't really start any more difficult, but the difficulty curve is considerably more uh, frightening. Oh god, zombies! Yes. These would be goo zombies. Every once in a while, an X Parasite will respawn out of the ether and possess them. Apparently not this one. And then they come back and you blow them up and the sequel, sequel, sequence continues indefinitely. Wow, we really need to talk to this guy a lot in this game. I'm not sure I approve. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. That's a lot of them, by the way. Head to the data room for the download. Data room is here. Is your objective clear? With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. I uh, still don't like those odds, Brigadier. They don't sound good. They sound bad. For one of a better word. I can't think of one. Let's ride an elevator. This game is different from many Metroid games in that it's quite linear. So a lot of people didn't like it as much for that. I still do, even though I would appreciate the exploration a little more. Oh well, that would be why we called him Adam Hunt. It's almost as if I knew. Anyway, this is the operations deck. It's not particularly exciting. The main reason we're here is to gain missile powers, which are always fun. Let's just head over here. This, fortunately, is a room you don't have to speak to the computer in, but if you do, he pretty much just says, hey, go one room to the left. And you're like, okay, because I'm apparently dumb and needed to be told. Power up! And missile data has been obtained. Missiles the same as they more or less are in every Metroid game, just an upgraded, more powerful. What the fuck? Cannons? Okay, well apparently that happened. What does the Brigadier have to say? Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I am reading huge biosigns, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room, indicated by an R on your map, or absorb a special type of X parasite big clue here. Yeah. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now, find a way to the target. Beautiful. And it seems like there's a big hint as to how we're going to kill the fucking X parasites, huh? Missile the crap out of them! Unfortunately, the power knockout also affects doors, as you can see. No, it doesn't. I'm lying. But it does affect this elevator, meaning you ain't going fucking anywhere. What to do? What to do? Well, Samus is a solver of problems, although usually her solution to said problems is fucking genocide. Oh, hey. This doesn't look conspicuous at all. Nope. That would never have been spotted had I not been some kind of genius. And barriers of goo, which can also only be destroyed by missiles. As you saw there, green X parasites restore your missiles, and I think it's just your weapons in general, as there are more you obtain. Here's a zombie. There was a zombie. Crumble blocks, in usual Metroid fashion. No going back through those, but you can fall through them, and often they're hidden, thus screwing you over. Making you miss hidden power-ups and whatnot. Here is where our 1% run really begins to start having an effect on the game. This is the kind of optional power-up I'm talking about. It's a missile expansion and gives you five additional missiles. I'm not going to be collecting it. There's another one over here in the wall. I'm not going to be collecting that either. These are the power-ups that I'm not going to be collecting in order to fulfill my challenge obligations. And let me tell you, not doing so ramps up the difficulty really fast. These are eye barriers. They indicate when a boss is nearby. Destroy them by shooting them in the eye with high explosive missiles. It seems a little ow. It seems a little cruel to me. But it only affects them when the eye is visible and not that sort of laser beam they try and fire out of it. 
Which is kind of tricky to jump over in this narrow corridor, I must confess. Maybe I'm dumb. The red axe paras X parasite that they release restores uh, health and weapons in quite large quantities. They're usually released by those to prepare you for the boss in question. And there is an energy tank we're also not going to want, so we have to carefully jump over it. Like that. It's not the hardest power up to dodge like that in the game. There is a couple of others I can think of that are really infuriatingly difficult. Oh no! Giant X parasite! We must annihilate it! Oh my fuck, what is that? The astute among you may recognize this fellow. He is a boss from Metroid 2. And I can't remember what his fucking name is. Yeah! What a Metroid fan I am. With no more missiles, he's going to be perhaps a trickier foe than we had uh, considered. He's still vulnerable to the beam. Most bosses are not. But it takes a lot more hits that way, and you're obviously supposed to have about twice as many missiles. Fortunately, though, he's still not a particularly difficult boss in any sense of the word. So we can annihilate his face easily. And now he dies, and we feature, feature, face the second phase of the boss, the Core X. This appears after you destroy every boss, and just tries to ram into you, basically. You must shoot it with missiles to destroy its thorny membrane and expose the inner squidginess. Such as that. They become very tricky later because they take a lot of hits to break and they still do a lot of damage to you. Bear in mind I won't be picking up any energy tanks whatsoever. So that 99 is all I've got. And a feature of Metroid Fusion compared to other Metroids is you tend to take more damage because you have less bulkier suit and therefore are less protected. I'll stop procrastinating and grab this. The Morph Ball ability has been recovered. But what do you know, now we can get through those passageways I saw earlier. In true Metroid fashion, press down twice and you become a ball, able to fit into small areas. It also has other abilities, but we will come to those later. First, we need to return to the ship. And uh, begin our next objective, whatever it may be. Here are the ladders you can shoot from. You can hang and aim your gun diagonally, or sideways, or down, or even up, but not very easily. There we go. It's a skill worth getting used to, as it needs to you know, come into play in some of the later areas. Zombies standing in my way. Fools, they will be destroyed. Let us save the game. 